Today on Hands On Photography, I want to take a look at one of my favorite seasons to shoot photography right now, the fall, autumn. Oh, it's so beautiful, so, so magical. Let's talk about it. Hands On Photography is brought to you from LastPass Studios. Using the same password everywhere is a security nightmare waiting to happen. LastPass easily creates unique passwords for every site. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. This is Twit. This episode of Hands-On Photography is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Protect your online privacy with one click. Yes, it's that easy. For three extra months free with the one-year package, go to expressvpn.com slash hop. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Matt Pruitt, and this is Hands-On Photography here on Twit TV. I hope y'all are doing well. I am unbelievable, as always. This is the podcast where I like to sit down and share with you different tips and tricks and ideas that are going to help make you a better photographer as well as a better post processor. If this is your first time checking out the show, consider subscribing right now. Just open up your favorite podcast app uh, or YouTube and look for hands on photography and hit subscribe right then and there. Or you can just head on over to our website twit.tv slash hop as twit.tv slash hop for hands-on photography and you'll see all of our subscription options right there uh, so you can get connected and get the show automatically each and every thursday once it's published i appreciate your support and appreciate y'all being a part of the hop community so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with this week's show. Now, at the time of recording this, this is the beginning of October in the ooh, unbelievable year of 2020. I don't know about you, but for me, whenever October rolls around, I start to think about fall and, and autumn, just, you know, the seasons that is. And I like to think about different types of photography that I could capture during, during those particular times. And the first thing that always comes to my mind with fall photography is landscapes and beautiful colors and the leaves and just mountains and oh, just, oh man, fall is just absolutely beautiful when it comes to photography. Not to mention football season, but we're talking photography here today. So I wanted to give you just a couple tips and a bit of a little bit of advice regarding fall photography and things that you should look out for. Um, some things are quite critical. Some things are just something that may not even affect you, depending on where you are and depending on where you're going to get your photography. I know for me, being this is now my second fall here in Northern California, things are a little bit different from the way that I used to approach it back on the East Coast in North Carolina. But before we get into those tips, I want to take just a couple minutes to thank the fine folks at ExpressVPN. This episode of Hands-On Photography is brought to you by ExpressVPN. A VPN protects your privacy and security online. Did you know it can take your TV watching to the next level by unlocking movies and shows only available in other countries? With ExpressVPN, binge Doctor Who on the UK Netflix. Fire up the app, change your location to the UK, and refresh Netflix. That's it. It's easy. Their apps use powerful encryption to secure your data. Download, click to connect, and you're protected. So protect yourself with the VPN that I use and trust. Visit my special link, expressvpn.com slash hop, and you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Support the show, watch what you want, and protect yourself at expressvpn.com slash hop. Okay, so let's get into some of the tips. Now, for me, I'm going to go back to my time on the East Coast in North Carolina and how I went about approaching it because it's totally different over here. Uh, right here in Northern California, the, the trees and things like that here are just different. It's not quite the same. Uh, there's a lot of evergreen trees rolling around over here and just a lot of um, <laughs> flat vineyards and hit rolling hills of not a lot of color other than just that amber color so fall is a little bit different on this side but on the east coast and depending on where you are you're going to have a lot of different trees a lot of different uh colors of foliage out there and you're going to want to take advantage of it so the first thing that comes to my mind is make sure your camera is up to snuff it could be your smartphone it could be your mirrorless a dslr 
And ideally, a good starting point is a nice wide angle lens, something that's going to be able to give you a vast view. But if you're not able to just get a wide angle lens, like a 16, 16 millimeter or 18 millimeter or something like that, that's OK, because we've already talked about how you can create panoramic views by stacking multiple shots on a previous episode. That's my nod to tell you to go back and check out that previous episode. <laughs> But you do have some options there. But the first thing that always comes to my mind is just your, your camera and the type of gear that you're going to use. I'm not saying a wide angle lens is the go to, but it's definitely a good starting point. Telephoto lenses work in this scenario as well, but it depends on the actual subject matter. Sometimes you can take a telephoto lens and take a shot of, say, a, a bunch of trees in front of a mountain and make it a little bit tighter and it'll look better because of the compression and things like that going on with the lens. But your mileage may vary, depends on the scene that you are taking a look at. Now, so you got your gear, you got your camera ready to go. Location, location, location. You don't have to go far depending on where you are. Sometimes it could be right in your backyard. Sometimes it could be just down the street at a neighboring park. Sometimes it could be um, all the way off at some different resort. Location wise, please be safe. Be mindful of the property that you're on. Be mindful that you may be on private property. You may need permission to, to shoot photographs there. And if you're going to a resort or a park or anything like that, just respect the property people. Just take into effect where you are. Don't trash the place. Try not to uh, make too many different uh, holes and things like that that's going to damage the property if you're trying to put something down into the ground, anything like that. Just, just be mindful of the property. Once you find your location, take some time to scout the, the area out. Take a look at the time of day. Take a look at where the lighting is hitting the different, different areas of the location. Is the lighting a little bit more prominent to the east versus to the west? Um, are there any elevation changes? Do you have uh, a way of taking a landscape that's going to capture three different levels of interest, something in the foreground, something in the midground, something far off in the background. Those are things that are going to make some compelling photographs for you. So just once you find your location, make sure you're safe, make sure you're authorized to be there, but then scout out and, and make sure you can find something that's going to really work for your photograph. Okay. And now another thing, the time, the time of day is going to make a big difference. Heck, the time of the season is going to make a big difference. Again, referencing back to my time on the East Coast, I had to really be careful about um, planning to get my my landscape fall photography done because October and November usually meant a lot of rain. And if it's going to rain, it's probably going to ruin all of your foliage and all of the foliage is going to start to fall off of the trees. So be mindful of the of the, the time of year, the time of the season and mindful of the actual weather forecast. I I'm dead serious. I had to take a take an account. OK, next week, I'm pretty busy. Should I go out and try to shoot landscape next week? Uh, no, I don't really feel like I'll put it off next week. And I go a couple of days later and the weather was perfectly fine and I didn't capitalize on it. And then the time that I was actually able to shoot, the weather was ooh, it was a bit of a mess. So I had to rush and get out there and get those shots in before the bad weather came in and totally wiped out the fall foliage. It was uh, it's, it's been pretty tough. I've learned over the years. Make sure you watch your weather app. Make sure you get out there before the rain falls. All right. But that's just a couple of my quick tips to help you get started with just getting out and snapping some beautiful fall landscape photography. I also found a beautiful blog post from my folks over at Borrow Lenses. I like I like dealing with borrowlenses.com. I'll put a link here in the show notes for you can check that out because it's all about capturing that beautiful view and the beautiful colors and the mood of fall. I absolutely love fall photography. What about you? Shoot me an email of your favorite fall photography shots, whether it's something you shot or some, something from another photographer that you enjoy. Shoot an email to hop at twit.tv. I'd love to hear from you. Or you can just tag me over on Instagram and Twitter at ant underscore Pruitt. All right. That's going to do it for this week, folks. I appreciate all the support. Make sure you're sharing out this show each and every week to all of your friends and family so we can continue to grow the hands-on photography community. Until next time, you all safely create 
and dominate. And I'm still looking for justice for Breonna Taylor. Y'all take care. Hey, I'm Jason Howell, host of Hands On Android. Every week, I take a look at the Android operating system and the phone that you have in your hands to tell you how to use it better. Is it tips? Is it tricks? Is it little known secrets, experiments, even emails from fans of the show? You name it, we talk about it on Hands On Android. You can subscribe by going to twit.tv slash HOA and make sure that you do that so you don't miss a single episode. We'll see you there.